The residents of Kahiso 1 in Mohale on the West Rand, Johannesburg, are calling for the complete shutdown of the Australian-owned company, the Mintails Mining Operation, which operates in very close proximity to their neighbourhood. Just over a year ago, Mintails began unrestrained blasting, causing structural damage to the houses in this area. In addition, the residents say they are subject to pollution and fine dust particles, which cause respiratory disease and cancer. On Monday, 13th January 2014, a few days after the Minister of Mineral Resources, Susan Shabang, visited this community, the community staged an unprotected protest action, as Shabangu stated that there was no legal grounds to shut down the Mintails mining operation. The unrest has been ongoing, as many in this community are determined that the mining operation be shut down to protect their homes and their health. Media for Justice went to the area to follow the struggle and speak to the residents of Kahiso 1, Mohale. Ne 
cancel you now. Sizama will understand what are the issues. They've raised all these issues. Oguti, he concerned him by the Zenu Kulendao. I Jenaika Fiso, God of Indao, yes, a Mohali city as a woman. Hence, we are here today. And yesterday, we decided to summon the company to come to Pretoria. La Sereze Amakis, La Enwade is in a company. And to say we want to find solution to our issues now. Mind you, our colors are color and dust. Our team, ever we plan a way to now, we report back. S E P E E cancel this morning. Jonga Baba Naba Holy Man Dawo. We go to go so we can go there. S E P we need to go there. Nekampai, Maguza, Ebuke Deni Dust, Mwaba Siyazu Uti Dust in Enkina is Ni, Ik Dust, Ibanga, Isifo, Sofu, Ibanga, Isifo, Samapap, and hence, as this government, we can't afford to be, to be held responsible for local Mwaba, Uma Seni Kula, it does. The Zayema clinic, and therefore it increases the budget of health in South Africa. We can't afford that. So, what we have agreed in the company, Maguza, we does. No, Magutu. We've agreed that one, Sugela Maj, a company. Ogumele igwe, particularly the plastic, because I think the others will follow. Maguza we plastic. See table company, but for me, part of solving the problem is plastic. One, we want them to put up sirens. A siren like in any other mining community. It purpose yama signing is that oh my best way to plastic. My guy is a guy in my Uganda. Utu face a kaya. My plaster utu. Mwaba was utu we zagala. So they need to give an indication to the whole community as a Mukhali city. Oguti. Mwaba. Order to 12, go 12 fat locks is all plaster. But also, what it means that all of you are aware. My shire on the plaster, me as we take plastic, I will find a safe. I do be mine. Fought 
in this country. We are talking about 20 years of democracy today. We wrote a constitution which we said in this country it will be the supreme law of South Africa. So we're using that to come here and say, Ye li is into es proposing us. And I've asked, what is it that was raised? Now the my issues, we're responding to the issues. So Ogoti Ali Foni, it can't be right. We must listen and discuss. Because it's not going to help us to refuse to talk. And let me tell you, mining in this area has been going on for over 100 years. Yes. Yes, sometimes, it can be so near
Mwiling, Emmanuel Mwilwa. I am the community leader in charge of this debate against the capitalism. We have waged a class war on capitalism. We are saying that uh, we don't offer any room for negotiations. We want the mind to shut down. We want the real truth. Where we are right now, it's a place where they were supposed to build the houses. According to the IDP program of 2007, they had failed to build the houses. Now they have awarded the mining rights to a foreign company coming from Australia, Mint Tales, to come and mine here without any public participation. We as the community of Kajiso, we feel betrayed by the African National Congress-led government because there was no public participation whatsoever with the surrounding communities. In fact, when we started to issue, when we started to raise the issue of the mine, we were told that the mine is affecting certain wards. Not all wards, the demarcation law was used on us. We refused. We have mobilized all members of our community in the surrounding areas because we feel betrayed by the Minister of Mineral and Resource, Mrs. Susan Chabangu, who arrived without a concrete report to the community and led to the collapse of the meeting, purposely so. We still remain to be confused, to be convinced that the mine is operating illegally. We believe that the Mintels was awarded the mining rights illegally. We believe that the land and the leasing agreement was done from the various local municipalities. We're not only saying the mine must shut down, we are saying as the leadership of the youth league in this world that the certain members inside the African National Congress must also be arrested.